I am very excited for today's video because it is a haul. I haven't done one for quite some time and I'm so glad to be back into it. Today's haul is going to be all alternative clothing as per usual. I think you're gonna love it, so let's get into the video. To begin with, we have this super cute little dress. There's not a lot of stretch down below, but I find that it is a nice length. And there's also some stretch up here. So if you have bigger boobars than I do, then I'm sure they will fit in very nicely. This I think is super cool. I think this is one of the reasons I really like it. Basically, it looks like that. And then you pull this tight and I've got a bra underneath, which kind of defeats the purpose of this like space here but you tie this up and if you have some cleavage there you'd be able to see it but for me and my itty bitty titty committee members out there I find that having something that's like got a scrunch makes it sort of look like I actually have boobs which is very exciting to me I guess it's like same sort of concept as like the scrunch bum like the exercise pants. Although, yes, everyone's butt looks good no matter what shape, size, whatever. It just sort of like accentuates and gives like a little bit of an illusion. I guess that's what it is. It's got the stretch in the top, so that helps for the ladies. This is a great dress. I think it's so cute. I think it would look really cute with some over the knee white socks. Divine. Next we have this like real like cute, but like casual oversized sleeve. I guess like they're not like flares, but they're just like big sleeves, just like a baggy long sleeve, but like how cool with like dragon design on there. I really like this and it's got the little like guard clips. You could connect to some like high waist pants or whatever it is. And then there's also this skirt too. I've never had a purple tartan skirt before and I am so feeling it. It is completely my vibe in all ways. I didn't mean to get these two together to like work together but they do and hilarious that I also happen to have purple bows in my hair right now too so like I just somehow all made it work oh my god oh my god oh god yeah. we love a body roll I'm obsessed with like lilac lavender color like it's so cute if you've been here for a while if you've been here for a while you would know that I am obsessed with black velvet <laughs> it's like a tie up number feels super elegant goth which i'm not used to but i feel like i could rock it in something like this i'm elegante goth if you didn't know elegante is spanish for elegant i'm learning spanish i know a lot of words clearly my entire life all i've dreamed of is having a dress with these sleeves i feel like morticia it is so beautiful i want to go dancing in this i would just be doing so many flowy contemporary <laughs> movements that just the club couldn't even handle me with my flow and my cat is trying to, <laughs> to he's down there going oh my god what are those flowy things you want some oh he's like no i don't want to attack you mommy mommy hasn't everyone just always wanted a dress exactly like this i kind of want every dress i own to just have these like what are they called? This type of sleeve. It's just like, it's like flares for the arms, but like 10 times bigger. And you can get them in so many different styles, but like, like a velvet style. This is the perfect dress, honestly. This is a cool top, super cool. Don't wear a bra with this. I had to take my bra off and the nips are a bit chilly, so. Obviously would recommend cutting the tag off. This area is meant for under boob, obviously. Under boob does not exist for me, but it would look really cute if you do. Then we have this skirt, really cute. I love the lace down the bottom and then how it's like split into, it's like, it's like opening, showing you under the skirt sort of thing, but it's one skirt, all black at the back and I've saved the best for last. This just feels so 90s goth, I am so obsessed with it. It's layered, so there's like the slip underneath and then this on top and then you've got your little arm sleeves. I'm really obsessed with arm sleeves right now. I bought a few just like, just arm sleeves that like aren't matching with an outfit or anything, but like you can wear them with a bunch of different stuff and like there's such a vibe. I feel a bit like I'm in Clueless, I feel a bit like I'm in the craft. I just feel like I'm in a 90s film where I'm the like super mysterious goth who's like misunderstood, you know? But 
then the really, <laughs> but then the really hot boy falls in love and she goes, no, 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 not for me. I want the misunderstood weirdo nerd boy. <laughs> and that's basically how every alternative person has ever found their um, partner. Also, one last thing. I believe this came with, whoa, it is so sick. So much of this brand gives me really like 90s alternative vibes and like bring it back, I say. 90s alternative scene is just so cool because it was so, so different then. Now it's just kind of like, it's a lot more common. Back then it was just like, you were so mysterious and misunderstood. I remember there was like a brand at like Target or something. Target, Kmart, somewhere like that. And there was a brand called Misunderstood. And I had so many of their clothes when I was like in primary school. And I realized one day I'm like, fuck, I've got a lot of misunderstood clothes. I'm like, I must be misunderstood. And then that just like paved the way for the rest of my life to be who I am today, where I'm this like alternative, mysterious, misunderstood girl who the jock boy is in love with. <laughs> Tell me if you had that brand. It may have been an Australian brand. It was like sort of like edgy, but at Target, you know? Kind of like how Mary-Kate and Ashley had a clothing brand and they were like, it was kind of edgy. It was pretty sick. Like I remember all I wanted was their clothes and like they were at Target, but like they were way too expensive for my parents to afford. So like I maybe got one at Christmas or something and I was like, I just fucking wore the shit out of that skirt. And I reckon it was like a tartan skirt or something like that. Like it was definitely like New York Minute vibes, like so sick. That also brings me to the fact that New York Minute kind of also made me who I am today. Why can't we go somewhere around? <laughs> we can book your flight and pack your bags if you want. Da -da 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 -da. Mary Kate in that movie, her style was just like everything. I remember there was like a book day. I think it was called a book day, book week or something. And you would like dress up as like book characters in primary school. And I dressed up as Mary Kate from New York Minute and I feel like I had like drumsticks and the hat and I wore like a black shirt with the undershirt. Oh my god, I felt on top of the world and to be honest, I was. I was on top of the world and that also paved the way for where I am today. <laughs> I was just honestly frothing anyone who was even the slightest bit alternative in mainstream media. So thank you to anyone who put someone even slightly alternative in their movie, in their TV show, in their book in there anything like you changed my life and I, I thank you for that but my parents probably don't <laughs> if you would like to check out any of the things that you saw today all the links will be in the description below check out punkdesign.shop and if you want 10% off you can use my code the legit creep and I will see you guys with a piercing video very soon bye